We have an excessive heat warning in effect this afternoon. That is for feel like temperatures as high as 115 degrees with a little bit more humidity now in the region compared to the past couple of days. And sunny skies continue in that forecast. So lots of sunshine can't rule out an isolated afternoon shower, but most of the region stays sunny throughout the day. And most of the region won't pick up on that rainfall. But more humid weather is on the way for this weekend with some pop-up storms becoming a little bit more frequent in that forecast. But right now, Debbie is over South Carolina, and that's helping to filter in drier air from the north into our region. So that's keeping us on the drier side. Lots of sunshine, but a southwestern wind flow picking up across the region today is going to bring in that humidity, make it feel a little bit warmer out there than our actual temperatures. Although mostly sunny skies continue throughout the day. Some showers popping up on our Florida Georgia state line as we head into this afternoon. And then tomorrow, a cold front approaches the region. That'll help to enhance our rain coverage this weekend, but still only scattered storms in nature. And that really comes into play with more humidity as we head into our Saturday. But here's that excessive heat warning. First excessive heat warning issued by the National Weather Service in Tallahassee for 2024. That includes Valdosta, Tallahassee, over towards Perry into Mayo. That is for feel like temperatures as high as 115 degrees. Swanee County feel like temperatures as high as 108 degrees later on this afternoon. Now, an excessive heat warning is the first one of the year issued by the Tallahassee National Weather Service. There were 13 issued back in 2023, indicating, you know, how hot last summer was compared to this summer so far. And that's when we saw a record high of 99 degrees on August 8th. Today's forecast is 98, so getting close to that, if not there. But we do have a 20% chance of development out in the tropics later on in the week. But our quick look at our seven-day forecast does show some scattered storms this weekend.